Right, we're going to we're going to go for it this time. Take five hundred and sixty-two. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we are going to be having a look at a squonker. This is a squonker that has come all the way from Dubai, of all places. I think in all the years I've been doing this, I don't think I've ever reviewed anything from Dubai before. A uh, young guy called Carlos got in touch and he said, would you like to review my squonk mod? It's called the Alchemy and it's the V2.5. Now the 2.5 comes in different materials. You have PMMA, you have Delrin, and we also have Ultum. And I think I have a photo here that'll pop up and let you know what they look like. Prices, I'm gonna cheat. Delrin, $240, Ultum, $280, and PMMA is $275. Now please bear in mind that if you're going to buy one of these, you'll have to go along to a Facebook group. And as always, because it's outside the EU, you may incur customs charges if you get this into the UK. So please bear that in mind. Sometimes you get away with it, sometimes you don't. Now I have a mixed one here. I have the Ultum one and it's, it's, do you know, we're just going to go for some close-ups before I balls this up anymore. <laughs> now this did arrive in a nice little box like this. We just open it up and there was an authenticity card with some, you know, we've got the date, the model and uh, a little signature on there as well. Now I have the, the mixed one because we've got Ultim going on here, we've got a bit of black Ultim going on here as well and it's, I kind of like this thing, I do like this thing but uh, we'll, we'll get into the nitty gritty first. Now dimensions wise, yeah, yeah, it's about 75 millimeters in height, I make it about 23.5 around about there, just across here and its widest point going around here, we're looking about 45 millimeters. Now this is, it, it's very different. It's very different. Uh, so first off, what you do is, if you want to put a battery in this, uh, this piece here, you can see you've got like two tabs that go in there. So you basically just grab that, just pull it out slightly. It'll come out like that and that will pop off. Now there is a magnet inside here. Now I have to be honest and Carlos, I, yeah, we'll just, I'll cover this more at the end. This magnet, when it arrived with me, was not glued in that well. The magnet did fall out when it arrived with me and I did have to glue it back in myself. Uh, now, he was very apologetic and actually he was horrified. Uh, he said, send it back, I'll cover all the costs, I'll get it fixed, blah, 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 blah. But I just glued it myself and job done. Uh, but you can see we have a magnet here, a little slot in here. So, you know, this just goes in at an angle like that and that's it. So this is where your battery is going to go in. But we'll do that more at the end. Uh, now, if I want to get my bottle out, so this is also on a little we've got a tab here. I can just pop this bit up. That kind of pulls out like that. And I can just pull everything out. Out she comes. So this is an SVF 510 connector and you do have to manually adjust this. It isn't spring loaded. Uh, what I tend to do is, uh, you know, we have this piece here, I can just spin that round. Now you could get an Allen key or whatever as usual, but I, for some reason with this, um, and this is the Maverick, uh, if I just pop the Maverick on there just now, I, I've just been doing it this way. Uh, just back that off, get this down flush, and then screw this up until I feel it just making contact a little bit, and that's it. That, that, that's me done. Now, obviously, as I said, you could if you wanted to, you know, you can do it the old, the normal way and just use an Allen key, but uh, that's how I've been doing it. This is an X-Tar bottle. It's six and a half millimeters, millimeters, milliliters capacity, and uh, I have no issues with this at all. Now, all the contacts are, these are beryllium copper and they are silver plated. And they're using 99.9% .9 high quality silver plating. You can see we've got more magnets going on here so that this locates inside there. Now, if you want to, you can take this to bits easy enough. You can just do unscrew this and, you know, the whole thing, all the contacts in here will come out and you can clean them and you can get your button out as well. Now, I will say that if what I have done here and I'll just show you this quickly. As always, this is a personal preference thing, but I've ended up putting a little bit of 3M tape just inside between the, the switch and the button there. And that was just to give it a little, a shorter throw. 
Um, it's my personal preference. Uh, it does have what I would consider a longer throw on the button than some other Squonk mods I've used. But uh, just putting a little bit of 3M tape on the back of the button and, uh, you know, all good. It does mean because I've done that, uh, you know, I've, the contact strip is sitting a little bit further out. So it does mean sometimes that it can be a bit of a pain for me getting my bottle in. But uh, yeah, it goes in just like that. And you see that little locating tab there? You can possibly see through the ultim there that that's going to sit just down in there like that. I'm grabbing a 25R here. I'm just putting it in positive down. So that just sits like that. Battery goes in, in and out, no problem. You've actually got two little cutouts here. It does help for you to, you know, get your fingers in there and grab that bottle. Bottle? Battery even. And then all I'm going to do is just push this down. Take this little tab set up here. And that's it. Job done. I'll screw on my Maverick here. That was a present from Santa. So there you go, you can see we've got a 22mm RDA on here. I think you'll get a 23 on here. Possibly a 24 as well. Uh, but it's it's quite... I, I like it. I'm, I can't... You know, I'm not going to take away from it. I mean, I like the engraving that's going on here into the Ultim. I like the exposed battery. I like, you know, the mechanism for taking the battery out. It's just, it's really simple. Yeah, I can just pull it out like that. Push it back down. That goes in there and job done. And it's not falling out. I've had no issues with the battery going anywhere. Um, it's, it's done well. This has done really, really well. Even the, the squonk window, it's, the, you know, it's no sharp edges on here. It's, you know, it's quite comfortable. Uh, Right-handed squonker. And I can get my finger in there and squonk away quite the thing fire away. Uh, the, the only thing I will say, and I'll cover this at the end, is, is the travel on the firing button. But uh, right, that's me. Let's go back up and we'll sum this one up. Now just to be clear, once again, this is a Facebook group. Uh, I think he makes them in batches of 25 or 30 and they'll then go up in the group and then you can buy them through there. I gave you the pricing at the start. Uh, obviously the different materials have different pricing and once again, you know, if buying outside the EU you can incur customs charges and fees so please take that into account. The other niggle that I have, well the, the two niggles that I have, um, obviously the magnet falling out when I first got it, that was yeah that, that, that wasn't good and uh, Carlos I think was pretty embarrassed and and he went above and beyond to offer to fix it you know, as simple as that. But uh, because I am so unlucky, when it comes to using magnets, I just glued it back in the right way and everything was okay. So that is one negative. The other, it's not a negative, it's a niggle. It's just a niggle from me, is I find the travel on the button to just be a little bit on the long side. Um, a bit of 3M tape on there and I've taken it down to where I like it now and and it's working great. Performance wise, no problems at all uh, to report with it. Uh, once again, it's, uh, you know, I have to manually adjust the 510 or I find it quite easy. I mean, taking this to bits is as simple as, if you want to do the battery, just pull that out. There you go. And you can pop this little bit up here and you could pull all that out like that. That's right, top cap came off, boom, like that. And out comes the battery. You do not have to take this top bit off to take the battery out. I just want to take it all to bits and show you. I really do like, I like this bit. I like, really like what he's done with that. It's, uh, you get some people that, they design things, make mods that, um, you know, they add bits onto it that, you know, make it different from the norm, but don't actually, no added value as such. You know, it's just different for the sake of being different. This is actually, you know, he's come up with something that I haven't seen before and it's actually done really, really well. So, uh, you know, 10 out of 10 for that. Uh, build all round on this thing, build quality in this thing. It's superb. It really is superb. He's done a really nice job on it. That's kind of all I've got. Uh, squonking with it, you know, obviously it's, it's what we would right-handed squonker. But I will say that, you know, using it in my left hand, as always, fire away there. 
I can just squonk with my finger there, no problem. Um, now, obviously, as a right-handed squonker, you would it's small, so for me, I can't actually reach round and get my thumb in there comfortably. Um, I end up just spinning it round and doing that with my finger or squonking like that. It's not something that I can do comfortably in one action, if that makes any sense. Now, once again, you can get this in different materials, and I think you can mix and match them as well. The costs may be slightly different. Uh, but I'm... I'm going to give this yeah, I'm going to give this two thumbs up. I really like this little squonker. He's done a good job on it and I like seeing something different. Um, I know the Ultim isn't for everybody, but uh, you know, other materials once again. But I'm going to have a quick vape again. It's very good. And I think we'll just stop there. Uh, Carlos Thank you so much for sending this on. Uh, I got this free to review and to show off to you guys. If you are at all interested, go and check out the Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching, putting up with the waffling, and we shall catch you next time. Bye for now. It's a bit different. And it's made by a company called um, Duladada. <laughs> Ah, and it's an it's an SVF, SFV. I've I've had too many mince pies and and whiskey. Right here we go. This is take three hundred and forty-five, and I may get various things wrong here because I've forgotten how to do this. Yes, I'm talking rubbish again.